Now in this section of the tutorial, what we want to do is focus on a really, really important uh, topic that you're going to use the calculator for almost continually in Algebra 2 and, and on in Calculus and Trigonometry and everything, and that is the topic of complex numbers or imaginary numbers. And so what we want to do in this section is, first of all, learn how to input uh, complex numbers into the calculator, learn how to do some basic you know, operations with them, and then we'll also go into the math menu. There's an entire complex menu in there that um, that's used for all the uh, the functions associated with complex numbers. So, uh, if you have no idea what a complex number is, then it's probably better for you just to skip this section unless you just want to try to learn through osmosis. But if you're in any of these classes where you've ever had to deal with I, which is the you know the complex number, the imaginary number, then um, you'll be right at home here. First thing is go into the mode menu. And you will see down here at the bottom, uh, right here, this line here. Right now, the calculator is in real mode. That means that any of the numbers that I input into this calculator, it's just going to assume that they're all real numbers. Now, if I ever want to operate outside of that, uh, which typically you're doing quite a bit in advanced math, then you'll want to go to one of these modes here. So basically, you can either input uh, numbers into the calculator and for complex numbers into rectangular uh, notation, where you have the real part plus the imaginary part, or a completely equivalent way to write uh, complex numbers is to write it in the, the polar form where you have a magnitude out here r um, and then you have e raised to the power of some angle uh, which is imaginary. So these are, if you have no idea what I'm talking about here then it just means you hadn't studied this in school yet so you'll, you'll get it when you, once you get there. But for those of you that have, you should know that um, when you write a complex number down, which is a, a number that has a, a real part and an imaginary part, you can either write it in rectangular form or polar form, and that's just sort of something that you learn in your class. So for now, let's go into rectangular form. So that means that any time I do a calculation in this calculator and it needs to return a complex number, it's going to return it in um, rectangular form. So let's just take the easiest possible thing. We'll take the square root of um, of negative one, right? And so, you know, from basic algebra, you can't do the square root of negative one. But once you get into imaginary numbers, you'll find out that this is just